day everyone. Today is Tuesday, March 14, 2023. Please sing with me kay buti buti mo Panginoon. Kay buti buti mo Panginoon. Sa lahat ng oras, sa bawat araw, ikay laging tapat kong magmahal. Ang iyong kaawaan ay magpawalang hanggan. Kay buti buti mo Panginoon sa lahat ng oras sa bawat araw ikay laging tapat kung magmahal ang iyong kaawaan ay magpawalang hanggan. Pinupurit, sinasamba kita, takilang Diyos at Panginoon. Tunay ngang ikay walang katulad, tunay ngang ikay di magbabago, mabuti ang Diyos na sa amin nagmamahal. Pinupurit, sinasamba kita, takilang Diyos at Panginoon, tunay ngang ikay walang katulad, tunay ngang ikay di nagbabago, mabuti ang Diyos na sa amin nagmamahal. Kay buti buti mo, Panginoon. Sa lahat ng oras, sa bawat araw, ikay laging tapat kung magmahal. Ang iyong kaawaan ay magpawalang hanggan. Pinupuri Sinasamba kita, dakilang Diyos at Panginoon. Tunay ngang ikay walang katulad, tunay ngang ikay di magbabago. Mabuti ang Diyos na sa amin nagmamahal. Pinupurit, sinasamba kita, takilang Diyos at Panginoon. Tunay ngang ikay walang katulad, tunay ngang ikay di nagbabago, mabuti ang Diyos na sa amin nagmamahal. If you do not forgive your brother from your heart, the Father will not forgive you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the reckoning, one was brought to him 
who owed him ten thousand talents. And as he could not pay, his lord ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had, and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But that same servant, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow servants, who owned him a hundred denarii, and seizing him by the truth, he said, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused, and went, put him in prison, till he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their lord all that had taken place. Then his lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you all that death because you pleaded with me, and should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his lord delivered him to the jailers till he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In today's reflection, from the time of Cain and Abel to this day, man has always been weak to his fellow man. If given the chance, man would destroy all life on earth. A man who owed his master a lot of money was forgiven of his debt, but he returned out to be undeserving of such mercy because he couldn't also forgive his fellow servant who owned him much less. Amen. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for this day. Thank you also for all the blessings you have showered upon us in the past days. Father, please help us deepen our faith, love, and trust in you. You are our life, Father God. You are the reason for our being. With you dwelling in us, our life becomes worth living, despite the struggles we meet in this earthly pilgrimage. Likewise, we ask you to light and guide our thoughts and feelings for today. When we feel worrying, remind us to believe that everything will be fine someday. And when we feel discouraged, inspire us to keep going on in our journey. Thus, always, Father, lead us towards the path that will bring our life peacefulness, healing, hope, and prosperity. For all of this we pray, in the mighty name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless everyone, and thank you. Happy Tuesday.